Hello and hi everyone. Let's talk about the equality of complex numbers. Let's say we have these two complex numbers. The first one is A plus BI and the second one is C plus DI. If the first one, if the first complex number is equal to the second one, so if these two complex number are equal, then what we have here is a then a is equal to c and we have b is equal to d so what 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 does it mean by this this statement is the 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 real part of the first complex number is equal to the real part of the second one and also the the, the imaginary part of the of the complex number is also equal so this is what we mean by by the equality of of two complex numbers for instance let's say we have we have 2 minus 3 i is equal to a plus b i so we can say that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to negative 3 so Let's say we have this example over here. Let's solve this, this question. Find the real numbers x and y if we have 3x minus 2y plus 3i is equal to 4 plus x plus y i. So um, the first step is we want to um, recognize or identify the, the real parts and also the imaginary part. So for this first number, we have 3x minus 2y is the real part. So we can equate the real part over here. We have we have 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 from the second uh, number here. So this is our first equation. And the next one is for from the, the imaginary part, we have 3 is equal to x plus y. So we, we have x plus y is equal to 3. So this is our second equation. So uh, what, what do, what, what the next step is we do the, we, we perform the simultaneous equation to find the value of x and y. So from 2 here, we can derive the, the third equation, x is equal to 3 minus y. So I name it as the third equation. So the third equation, substitute in the first one. So we have 3 times 3 minus y minus 2y is equal to 4, then... We just simplify this one. We have 9 minus 3y minus 2y is equal to 4. This one is just 3 times 3 and 3 times negative y. So we have this, this one. This one is just the follow through from, from the above statement here. So what we do here, we, we will get negative 3y minus 2y is negative 5y is equal to now bring the number 9 here. To the, to the right hand side here, we have 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Therefore, we have the value of y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1. Then, we just substitute y is equal to 1 in our third equation here to find our x. So we have x is equal to 3 minus 1. Then it's, 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 x is just equal to 2. So this is the answer for this question over here. Now, let's have a look at more challenging question. So let's say we have this question. We have find the square roots of 15 plus 8i. So uh, 
we have this type of equation, the square roots of 15 plus 8i. So uh, what does it mean by that? So we have the number 15 plus 8i. We have the number, a number value that takes the value of 15 plus 8i. We want to find the square root of this equation. So we have said we have said 15 plus 8i is equal to the most general, the general form of a complex number is, let's say, a plus bi. So uh, we want to find the, the value of a and also b. So um, the first step is we can um, eliminate or we can bring the, the third here to the right hand side. So uh, we just, we just take the, the the power squared for both sides here. So when we when we perform this step, what we get here is just fifteen plus eight i is equal to. So we have here we can we can um we can expand this this expression here. We get a square. plus 2abi plus b squared i squared. And we also know that i squared is just negative 1. So i squared here. Let me change my marker pen. So uh, i squared here. i squared is just, is just negative 1. So we have here negative 1 times with b squared therefore we will have a squared minus b squared plus 2 a b i and this is just equal to 15 plus 8 i so now we can we can um, we can what we say we can equate the, the the real parts of the first number here 15 with the real part of the second number here a square minus b square therefore we have our first equation a square minus b square is equal to 15 and the second one is 8i is equal to 2abi so uh, just i just write 2ab is equal to 8 and from the from the second one we should get we may get um a is just eight over two b then we can simplify it further here a is just four over b so let's say this is our third um equation next one let's say we substitute the third equation into our first equation so what we get here is 4 over b squared minus b squared equal to 15. And we just simplify this one. We just expand this using the property or law of um, indices. We have 16, 16 over b squared minus b squared equal to 15. And then we can we can uh, equate the makes the, the the denominator here equal by multiplying both this term and this term with b squared. So uh, we just we just times with this one is equal, the this one is just over one. So one times with b squared times b squared. This one is also over one, so we times with b squared, times with b squared. So what we what we get here, what we get here, I, I will skip a few steps. What we get here is just sixteen minus b to the power of four, and equal to fifteen b squared, and this one is over b squared over b squared over b squared bring it to one side we can get b to the power of 4 plus 
15 b squared so we bring the, the left hand side to the right hand side so we have b squared negative and become positive b at uh, 15 b squared is just the same and we also have the negative 16 equal to zero so so we, we merge them into one single fraction and the denominator next one we have times with zero and then we have this statement here this equation here so this one is just the the skills that we we need to do is just we factorize this equation we have b squared over here and b squared over here we have um 16 and 1 16 and 1 we have minus here and we have plus here yeah all right so we have b squared is equal to negative 16 and we have b squared is equal to plus 1 positive 1 so um a and b must be real numbers so we 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 do not include this one this option so we have b squared is equal to 1 therefore b is equal to plus minus 1 then if b is equal to positive 1 then a then a is just 4 over 1 which is equal to 4 and <coughs> if we have b is equal to negative 1 1 sorry if equal to negative 1 so a is just negative 4 so um so i conclude here the square root the square root so the square root of 15 plus 8i here we'll take two values the first one is we have 4 plus i and we also have negative 4 minus minus i so this is the the answers for this question so uh, thank you for watching this video bye bye